Yes, thank you very much, Axel, for inviting me and having me here. And um, I told already to some, some colleagues of mine who are also attending this great conference, this great congress here, that um, Axel must have um, car dealer experience somewhere. Because when he asked me to join and to kick off this with the keynote, I wasn't aware that this is such a big convention and such a big congress. And um, so it's really impressive to see all people coming together and that we have that exchange, that we have that networking opportunity to talk about analytics, microbiology, um, aseptic manufacturing biology. So from my part, I'm not, um, I'm not in, the, in the analytics arena. I'm a pharmacist by education, but I'm working in the industry for more than 20 years. And in biopharmaceutical manufacturing, be it in the operation side or in the quality, quality oversight, um, site head of quality, um, global head of quality, and now operations head in, in one side of Vienna. So what I can bring to the table here is definitely how we apply all these great technologies, all these great solutions that you offer and that you are working on, and how can we apply this into practice. So from theory into practice, that's my part, and that's what I have as a common note here for the keynote and opening of this great conference here. And I called it, it's a demanding, what are the demanding quality and compliance requirements that we are currently focusing and, and working on? So I think what we all have in biopharmaceutical manufacturing, what we have in common um, and across the industry is a few ideas, a, a few cents that I want to share with you. And that's on the one hand side, the dichotomy of, on the one hand side, we want to have the small volume precision medicines and on the other hand, the large volume blockbuster manufacturing capabilities and capacities. Then, of course, we also want to have that flexible global manufacturing.